Hello and welcome to the Whittling Weekly for November 8th, 2017. Our first item this week is a time capsule. So as we discussed previously, the Wood County Board of Developmental Disabilities will be completing its own time capsule in which uh, we will bury it on November 20th at 2 o'clock p.m. out here at the Century Trail. Uh, and it will be opened in 25 years. What we do want to ask is if anyone has any items that you would like to add to the time capsule, whether they be uh, cherished items, uh, potentially letters, pictures, those types of things, please bring them on out. We will be happy to include them. Again, that time capsule will be buried on November 20th at 2 o'clock p.m. here at the Century Trail, and we will be opening that in 25 years from now. Uh, also of note is the Action Club. So yesterday, November 7th, the Action Club held interviews of potential candidates for the Action Club liaisons, and we are proud to announce that the Action Club has selected Rhonda Kendall and Linda Cox as their co-liaisons for the Action Club as we move forward. Uh, they will be assisting the Action Club in many service projects over the next uh, several weeks as well as into the 2018 year. Some of those uh, include participation in the holiday parade, ringing the bell for the Salvation Army out of Kiwanis and uh, participation in holiday gift giving. Those are just through the end of the year. Uh, and then last Saturday, uh, November 4th, the uh, 20th annual Prime Ribbon Crab Dinner was held. Uh, I want to say congratulations to all of the Special Olympics athletes as well as the Special Olympics Advisory Group and uh, the Planning Committee. The one night event raised a total of six, over $16,000 that will certainly be utilized to assist Special Olympics uh, athletes in their uh, planning of events, travel, uh, hotels, all of the necessary items that assist them in having successful seasons. And while we're talking about Special Olympics, let's talk about the area swim meet that happened out at Oak Harbor High School on uh, Sunday, November 5th, 2017. We had over uh, 20 athletes, actually 21 athletes who participated, and so we have all of the lengthy results for you. Uh, so Grant Chambers, second in both the 50 free and 50 breaststroke, uh, part of the first place 100 medley relay team. Dale Dewey, second in the 50 free, third in the backstroke, and also part of the medley relay team. Kim Fector, first in 100 butterfly, second in 200 freestyle. Melissa Frizzato, second in 25 freestyle. Joe Fry, second in 25 backstroke and third in the 25 freestyle. Tanya Gebbe, second in 50 freestyle. Joel Hernandez, second in the 50 backstroke. Maggie Hunt, first in 100 backstroke and part of the first place 200 free relay team. Dennis Miller, second in the 25 freestyle, third in the 50 freestyle. Kim Paxton, second in the 50 backstroke. Derek Perrine, first in 100 individual medley, third in the 50 breast. Rich Repke, second in 50 backstroke, third in the 50 freestyle, and part of the winning medley relay team. Jason Rupert, first in 100 breast, third in 100 freestyle, and part of the winning medley team. Uh, Katie Rupert, first in 100 freestyle, uh, third in 50 breast and part of the winning 200 free relay team. Steven Scholl, second in the 25 freestyle. Ann Schooley, first in 25 backstroke, first in 200 freestyle and part of the winning 200 free relay team. Abby Simmons, third in the 50 free, third in the 100 free, and part of the winning 200 free relay team. Mike Stanford, first in the 50 free. And then the 200 free relay team of Maggie Hunt, Abby Simmons, and Ann Schooley, and Katie Rupert established a new Wood County Special Olympics record in the event. Uh, Ann Schooley also finished first in all three of her events. Uh, I want to send a special thanks out to volunteers Amanda Washko and Sarah Bork for their, uh, their assistance. Uh, also, just want to really congratulate all of the Special Olympics athletes on their success uh, and uh, congratulations, and we look forward to uh, getting the results as many of you move on to the state meet in December. And then finally this week, we want to leave you with Veterans Day. So Veterans Day is celebrated on uh, November 11th each year. Uh, this year, we of course are celebrating the event on Friday, November 10th. And what we really want to do is we want to say thank you to all veterans. We thank you for your service. We appreciate everything that you have done for us. 
and certainly the, the efforts of all veterans are celebrated by the Wood County Board of DD and all of those we serve. I wish everyone a great week. Thank you.